Hello, so this is tutorial on how best to answer the 12 mark question that's likely to come up on paper 3. So paper 3 you have a pre-release booklet that you should be familiar with. You'll get a 12 mark question. It will have 9 marks for your geographical answer, 3 marks for SPAG. So what's the issue? The UK has an issue with waste and waste management with a lot of waste going to landfill. Recycling rates is not increasing as quickly as they should do. Now you've got different options with waste. You can burn it or you can bury it. All right. Now the proposal, you know, the geographical issue that you're concerned with is should they build a waste incinerator in Cambridge? So if you look at the map, you can see where Cambridge is located. Should they burn this waste? Now, it will create energy, all right, and it will stop waste going into landfill so the chemicals can't seep into the ground and damage the water table and water quality. But it means building a massive chimney, all right, and a massive waste disposal unit in rural England, and people don't like it. All right, now this is an example of a waste incinerator in London, so you get the idea. If I live next door to that, I probably wouldn't be too happy. All right, it's not the nicest thing to look at in the morning. So, you've seen these matrix before. What are the opportunities? So, social opportunity, 63,000 homes with reliable electricity. All right, and you're not using fossil fuels for that electricity, you're using waste. Economic, it would create 300 long-lasting jobs. This is during the operational phase, so these would be jobs that would be permanent. And environmental, as I've already said, less waste would be buried in landfill. All right, when waste is in landfill, it decomposes, leaching takes place, and the chemicals seep into the ground and the soil. However, there's many challenges. People don't want to look at a huge factory and a huge chimney, especially in the beautiful countryside. It's not aesthetically pleasing. Economic, uh, well obviously there's a cost to build the waste disposal factory, the incinerator, but also local roads, the narrow roads, country roads, they're going to get more congested, all right? And this could cause late deliveries. Uh, also you're obviously going to be burning more fossil fuels things like that also maybe even the price of houses would go up because more people would move to the area for jobs but on the other hand do people want to move to an area that's got a big chimney there and an environmental challenge so although there are very strict laws on burning anything in the UK it's never going to be good for the environment, so it will have a negative impact on air quality, and that could potentially have a social impact on the local people um, in the area. Now, we don't know what question's going to come up. However, I've got a feeling it will be something along the lines of this. All right, so the government said no. They rejected the proposal to build the waste incineration plant in Cambridge. Do you think this was a right decision? Now, it doesn't matter whether you do or you don't. So you can tick either box. But what I'm going to provide for you now is a, an answer that you can pretty much learn and you'll be able to adapt parts of this answer in your exam. So you need to tick the box, use evidence from the resource booklet and your own understanding to explain your choice. So in a nutshell... Pick something from the resource booklet. Explain what it means. It says this in the resource booklet. This means that. Now, here is a model answer with some of the key parts missing. All right, so just like you've done, it's a gap fill. But this is a little bit more challenging, uh, a little bit more of a challenging gap fill because it's not just missing words. You need to put statements in there. And the majority of these can be found in the booklet. Okay, now the first time you do this, you're probably going to find this really tricky. But once you've done it once or twice, it should be much easier. All right. Now, I'm going to go through each of the gap fill answers with you. However, it would be worth print screening this or copying this out 
and writing it down as we go along. So, first paragraph. I agree that the government rejection of the waste incineration plant in Cambridge was the right decision to some extent. Remember, answering the question in the first sentence. In figure one, it states that the UK is facing a growing waste challenge because landfill sites are filling up and recycling rates are not increasing as rapidly as they could be. For example, between 2000 and 2010, it increased by 29%. However, between 2010 and 2019, it only increased by 5%. Building the waste incinerator in Cambridge would create social and environmental challenges, in brackets, such as air pollution, but it would also have gone some way to Im towards improving waste management in the UK. Paragraph 2. The incinerator would have created many opportunities. On a local scale, there are a myriad of social and economic benefits of building the incinerator. It would have provided... 63,000 homes with a reliable supply of electricity that would have benefited the local community. Looking at the global picture, this would reduce the impact of rising fossil fuel prices due to the ongoing war in Ukraine. It would have also produced 300 long-lasting jobs that would reduce unemployment and create a multiplier effect in the local economy. In addition, incinerating waste is less harmful to the environment than landfill because chemicals from decomposing waste leach into the water table that could affect water quality on a national scale, nationally. Paragraph 3. There are also many challenges. Firstly, burning anything has a negative impact on air quality and this could have had a negative impact on the health of the local community at Water Beach. But, as stated in Figure 3, there are very strong environmental protection laws in place in relation to incineration plants. This means that the impact upon health would have been minimal. The tall chimney was also considered to not be aesthetically pleasing, ugly, and would have a huge visual impact on the local area, making it look ugly. The increased traffic during construction and operation would have also caused traffic congestion on local roads. This means that there would be an increase in both air pollution and stress levels as vehicles are stuck in traffic. Paragraph 4 In conclusion... I understand why the government rejected the proposal. They wanted to protect the views of the local people of Cambridge and wanted to promote other methods of waste management like recycling. But I believe there is a compelling social, economic and environmental case for the project to have been approved. It would have boosted energy generation and job opportunities in the local area as well as having had a positive impact on the environment when compared with landfill as an alternative. At the national level, it would have provided a small but notable contribution to addressing the UK's growing waste management challenge. Finally, the UK has a net zero carbon emission policy that it needs to meet by 2050. Reducing fossil fuel burning and increasing energy production by waste management could have helped the UK on a global scale. Alright, now this is the complete answer. It is a very long answer. But why not try and learn the first sentence or two from each, each paragraph? If you could write that, you're still going to do really well in this uh, exam. Now we can't guarantee what the question will be, but you got a good idea. I hope that helps. Bye-bye.